Hey everybody, my name is Scott I'm with the Arizona Hot Tub Factory and they call me the Spa Man. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect either the three or the four wires to the hot tub and what to look for to get it up and running. Over the past couple of weeks, I've received tons of calls, emails on how to do just that. They've either bought a new hot tub, bought a used hot tub, they've got it in the backyard, it's set up, the electrical's there, but the electrician hasn't come back to connect the hot tub and the people want to get in the hot tub. So I'm getting all kinds of calls going, come on, it can't be that hard, can you get out and fix it? Can you show me how to do it? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to connect the four wires or the three wires and what to look for. It'll take less than five minutes. So stay tuned, I'll show you how to do this and it's quick, watch till the end of the video to see if your type of hot tub comes up. There's generally speaking, there's only about three or four different variations and I'll show you what to look for even if I don't do one on your particular hot tub, okay? Now, if you've gotten this far to where you need to hook up the pack itself, I'm assuming that you've watched my other videos on how to get your wire from your main panel to your sub panel and then to the hot tub. Well, today I'm gonna show you how to get it hooked up. You run your wires through the hole. All packs have a hole somewhere, either in the top, the side, the bottom. This one, the wires will come through the side. You're gonna hook up, this is a four wire hot tub. You look, everything's colors. You can pretty much figure it out. So, your white neutral goes at the top. You got a black hot and you got a red hot. Over here, there's a hole right here, and that's where your ground goes. Your ground comes through, and then you're gonna screw down your ground lug. That's pretty much all there is to connecting up a Balboa. I can do a Balboa in less than a minute. You guys should be able to do it in five. Let's go on to the next hot tub. As an added bonus to this video, at the very end, I will show you how long it takes me to wire a hot tub once I have the wires pulled through the side of the hot tub all the way up to the pack in seal tight with the nut in, in place. I'll have the wires sitting there and I will connect both the hot wires and the ground and it should take me a minute, maybe a minute, 15 seconds. Maybe a minute and a half, maybe two minutes. Stick around and find out, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Now this particular pack is called a jacuzzi pack. A little different than a Balboa and a little bit more confusing. The reason why is right in this area, all the wires are really confusing and people get kind of intimidated. I don't want you to do that. You haven't hooked up any wires. You've shut off the breaker, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna go and move all the wires out of your way, okay? And all the way in the back, right there, there's a spot right here at the bottom and then there's another one right here. Okay, this is where a jacuzzi hooks up. Okay, kind of simple. And then it comes in through this hole right here. Now jacuzzi is just a three wire. You have two hots and you have a ground. The ground goes right here to this ground lug. It's pretty simple. So the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna hook up the ground. And then you're gonna run your one lug right here. And then the other one is just above it, right there. So pretty simple. Now I'm gonna go show you a Sundance that I've taken all the wires out of so you can see it a little clearer. So this particular pack is out of a Sundance. It is very, very similar to Jacuzzi. They're kind of like sister companies. I consider Jacuzzi to be more like the Lexus and the Sundance to be more like the Toyota. Very good products. They use a lot of the same components. Now, your wire is gonna come through here. Here's where your ground goes. And then you've got these two lugs right here. You've got your hot and hot. Now, if you've got red and black wires, put the red on the top, put the black on the bottom. If you got just two black ones, then just put them there. It doesn't, the color of the wire doesn't mean anything, but make sure you mark the, the wire. Like in the last hot tub I showed you, that particular customer did it with white wire because white wire is cheap, and then they wrapped it with black tape so that they knew that those were the hot wires. So anyways, this is a jacuzzi, and this is a Sundance. They're all the same, okay? Let's go on to the next one. Now this particular pack is very old, but it doesn't matter. They're all pretty much wired the same. Your wire comes through here, put it in seal tight, put the nut on the back, and you got line one, line two, you got neutral, and then your ground is right here. Usually it's on the left side. Not always though, but I wanna say 80% of the time, you know, out of 10 hot tubs, 
eight of them will be over here. Most of the ones that I do, they're in the bottom left corner. So just look for this, L1, L2, N, neutral, white, common, ground. And there, GND right there, pretty simple. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, here's another version of a Balboa pack. Your seal tight's gonna come in right here with the nut on the side. This is a four wire hot tub. Your white common goes in the top. Your black goes here, your red goes here, and your ground goes right there. It's just a different version. There again, it's on the left. Uh, I'm not saying they don't have them on the right, but I wanna say the majority of the packs that I run into, it's usually on the left. So, like I said, white on the top, black, red, ground. As long as you got neutral, two hots, and the ground, you're good to go. Okay, because I know people are gonna ask, well, how long does it really take you to wire a hot tub? You got the wire coming through the seal type, which is right here, it comes through the hole, everything's marked. Basically what I'm gonna do is I bend, I bend the wire and I stick the wire in the hole, is what I do. It's not that hard. Let's back off the nut a little, or the screw a little bit. And I bet I do it in just about a minute or so. But I know I can do it under five. And this wire is kind of stiff and kind of a pain in the butt to work with. Okay, first one's in. Second one's in. Ground. I hate working with this really stiff wire like this. It's a pain in the butt. Ground is in place. Time. I don't know how long that was, but I will put it in the caption for you guys. That's all there is to it, guys. Well, I hope that'll help you guys out. Get your hot tubs up and wired and couple minutes. Uh, there again, I'm just showing you where to look for the wires and kind of where they go. Line one, line two, those are always your hot wires. You got a common wire that's white and you got the green wire that's ground. Make sure you mark everything and above all, before you touch anything, shut the breaker off. And with that, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day.